Hello there and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use the serial directive in your Ansible playbooks and basically the serial directive allows you to execute each and every task sequentially on a specific host before moving on to the next host in the group that you specify in the host directive. So <clears throat> Let's get to it. So our hosts are going to be all, our serial are going to be one, and the tasks are as follows. Name, disable, server, and we will give it the inventory that host name on load balancer and debug message and the same message should be copied so I want you to get this idea right so basically this demonstration shows you how Ansible can allow you to rolling update multiple servers on uh, let's say uh, load balanced environment so we are going to update the server and we will just remove this one called on load balancer and enable server on load balancer and what will happen if you did everything correctly so echo test serial is the following oh, anyway. let me delete this was just a let's say preparation for this video. So technically, we are almost there. And all right. Let's run this playbook if it's working. So what happens here is that it is, uh, let's say, failing with an error because I have made the rookie mistake of not saying that this is not inventory dot host name but inventory underscore host name so now it should be working as intended as no pun was intended <coughs> So now, as you can see from the execution of our playbook, is that first each and every task is executed on the A master. So, okay, A master, A master, A master. And we are disabling the server on the load balancer, updating the server on the load balancer, and enabling the server on the load balancer and this is a pretty powerful concept because many companies use uh, let's say load balancer to ensure that when uh, you have a productive environment that is served by multiple instances of apache or nginx or whatever web server that they are using is to let's say uh, <coughs> create high availability. So when one server goes down, the load balancer notices it because there is a setup for load balancing and monitoring on the load balancer side. And uh, that node is then disabled. So what we are doing here in this playbook, even if it's just an abstract version, is that we are disabling the specific instance on the load balancer, upgrading it and re-enabling it. So the load balancer can keep up with the environment and as it changes. 
So basically this is all I wanted to show you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.